Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to add your own custom Pine script to TradingView but weren't quite sure how to get started, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to open up the Pine script editor on TradingView, make a working copy, and drop in your own script with confidence. Whether you're brand new to scripting or just want a clear walkthrough, let's dive right in and get you set up. All right, first things first, let's head over to TradingView. You can open up your browser and simply type TradingView into the search bar or just go straight to TradingView.com. It doesn't matter if you're logged in or not just yet, but you will need an account if you want to save your scripts. So if you haven't already made one, take a second and sign up. Trust me, writing or editing scripts is a lot easier when you're logged in and ready to go. Once you're on the TradingView homepage, look up at the very top of the screen. You'll see a menu bar and one of the options is called Products. Go ahead and click on Products. This will open up a drop-down list that showcases a bunch of different features TradingView offers. What we're interested in for PineScript is their Pine Editor. Now you might have to look around just a bit, but you'll spot the Pine Editor all the way at the bottom left. TradingView sometimes tweaks their layout, but generally you'll find the Pine Editor tucked at the bottom left corner whenever you open a chart. Click on it, and the editor will pop up. Now, right after you open the Pine Editor, there's something you'll usually notice. There's a message that says, this script is read-only. To edit its code, create a working copy. Sometimes, TradingView loads up sample scripts, or maybe you open up a public script published by someone else. Either way, that message means you can look, but not touch, yet. No worries, this is just TradingView's way of keeping original scripts safe from accidental edits. To make your own editable version, look just beside where the 24-hour volume label is right above the script area. There's a little drop-down arrow there. Click on it, and in the options that appear, you'll see Make a Copy. Go ahead and select that. What you're doing here is telling TradingView you want to create your own version of the script. Think of it as making a photocopy that's yours to doodle on and change however you want. Now, you'll be prompted to give your script a name. This part is actually kind of fun. Pick a name that's descriptive so you can easily find your script later. For example, if it's an RSI strategy, call it something like My RSI Strategy. Once you've typed in a name you like, hit save. And that's it, you've now got your very own editable Pine script file. From here, it's super simple to add your own Pine script. Just copy the code you want, come right back into the Pine editor, and paste it in. The editor auto saves your progress, but you can also click save again just to be sure. If you're working on a new indicator or strategy, this is your creative playground now. Don't worry if your script doesn't work perfectly on your first try, debugging is part of the process, and you can always tweak and save as much as you like. So there you go. You've learned how to open Pine script in TradingView, make a copy, and start creating your own custom indicators or strategies. If this guide helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, and if you still have questions or got stuck anywhere, drop your question in the comments, I'm happy to help. Make sure you subscribe for more step-by-step -step trading tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and happy coding.